Hey Pussy friends, welcome back to another new video. My brother's right next to me, but yeah, yeah. No, I'm not gonna cut it off. So today, as y'all can see, we're gonna do some plancy chores. We are in the new location. I'm on the floor because the lighting is really, really bad. And I had to like sit because like of the lighting, but it's okay. And yeah, I'll, it's gonna be today as well tomorrow. Hopefully I have the video ready for tomorrow. I might have it literally in sections, like part one, part two, part three, part four, from the living room to the dining room to the bedroom to the kitchen. Today, we're gonna do the, the, the oh my God, yo, the dining room. We're gonna go and organize um, some plants here. A, a lot of my mom's plants, I'm gonna place them outside because she wants me to place them outside to water them and to give them a good boost. Um, there's reasons why, but yeah, so we're gonna go and do that. Everything's clear, everything's well. Trust me, I feel a little bit uncomfortable, like, Putting my plants here now because I feel like I'm rushing them, but everything's well, everything's good, so that's that's good. I don't even know why I'm saying that. Y'all know, you know me, I say a lot of stuff that I really, really shouldn't say, but it's okay. So, we're gonna go hang some plants by the window, which I will show you right now, and some other sections by this massive window. Alrighty, so here it is. So, if you can hear the AC, it's literally insanely hot, and with these windows, it gets it's just it's super duper hot which is why i want to start blocking it with some plants and plants that love the light so down the line when i get paid i'm gonna get better curtains um so yeah and i'm also gonna put a little bit more higher because like that's like a thing like you just put it like midway like right over here it makes it look more elegant and like nicer but yeah this is the table that um this is my mom's but i might keep it she said that a lot of her furniture if i like it i can have it so <laughs> Because um, her lover and her have a lot of furniture in her new place and they don't know where to literally place these and they, have, they literally have storages as well that's overflowing with stuff so they're trying to get rid of a lot of stuff but I love this glass table it's very very old I don't know how long she has had it but yeah I'm also gonna need to buy an outlet little thing right there this house has a little bit of its, its cons but it's very fixable things like Things that we can fix you know so it's 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 humbling it's humbling to see this <laughs> um but see we're gonna go and put some plants like uh, i might rearrange it i don't know yet and then i also want to put some white tables which i do not have right now on the sides i think that would be pretty good a little bit of a height difference and i also want to hang some plants above um maybe maybe not not in there but in the ceiling we're gonna go find out if the ceiling is strong enough I, people always ask me how I hang the plants. I literally just get basic hooks from Walmart. This is my mom's, but she does the same thing. So you get a basic hook from Walmart, the little right thing, that thingy right there. And you put them in the ceiling. That's literally all you do. Now there are some, it's so it's risky. You can't really, really put something really heavy because it can fall down and break. Has happened to me like from a, my entire time in the, in the apartments. Maybe like, like six times out of like hundreds of plants that I put in the ceiling, but yeah. Not really hundreds, but yeah, I get the point. So um, usually what I do is to test it, I just pull it down to see if it if it's sturdy. There's other ways on YouTube how to like actually like make it stick there. Like you, you put it inside and then it opens and it lays. Really, really complicated, but we're not doing that, and I'm not gonna do that. Worst case scenario, I can just put some like tornillos, like um like this, some screws, a little bit poking out, so I can hang a a plant basket. It will it will bother a little bit with the cortinas but we're gonna figure it out so yeah
Oh my god! <laughs> Y'all understand how like happy this makes me feel. Life instead of a home. And I was feeling very overwhelmed, but I wanted to use grow lights theoretically. This gets this is a west facing window. And if it wasn't for this massive tree, which I know I got in the windows by the way, if it wasn't for that big tree, we would have we gotten so much more light, which I am planning on cutting it down. I know it does give shade to the house, but I want to have a rose garden in the front in the future. But yes, I'm planning on cutting the tree. I'm going to get a lot more light, but oh my god, it's really, really like hard to see because of the backlight. But we have this really, really cute Hope Pepperoni, I believe that's what it's called. And a lot of plants were outside, which is why they were doing so good. But they are getting a lot of light over here, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be happy. I have a Mykins a Chinese money plant, golden pothos. Like, look at all these beautiful golden leaves. Um, lemon eye philodendron. I just, this was a perfect spot for it. Like, I need something that was long, but like going like this to fill in this like gap. And um, I feel like it's missing something for acá. I can literally just get like one of these small plants with small hooks and just hook it on a Chinese money plant to like extend it over here. That's what it's possibly missing, but it looks gorgeous on us. Look at these leaves hitting the sun. So majestic and beautiful. And this is my mom's just plant that I got her. I think it's called a pink pantern um, triduscantia. I am planning on taking some, some cuttings right now because in the future, she told me it was cool. I was it was okay with it, like we taking cuttings. I got it from Rubber Gardens, really, really cheap. It's beautiful. Like, do y'all see how pink it is? So pretty, very easy to look after. It's very dry to the bone, so it's very like, it's a very hardy house plant and then this micans this is exactly where i want micans in here because look at that do y'all see how that's glowing and we have my hoyo Wayeti, which was pushing out growth like crazy outside and then we have this other hoya as you see i have a lot of hoyos over here because well there's so much light and i know they're, they're gonna appreciate it a global green potos which can tolerate low light but i wanted to develop beautiful variegation so it's perfect where it's at and then this other plant that I also got from the same nursery as this one. But I'm not sure what it's called. It's gorgeous. I love it so much, but she's cute. Then we have a Hoya. I think it's a, the crown is inside. So it's a, it's a princess, I believe. And then a green heart leaf for the dendron because I don't know what to put over here. I might switch it because I do also want to mimic all these plants what you're seeing in this window as well um and this is a this is low light since like there's like um the patio roof thingy as you can see like that and this might be for like potos and philodendrons so like i have more global greens but this would be a perfect spot for golden potos um green hartley philodendron all those plants that you know appreciates and can do okay and still thrive and look beautiful i mean it's still getting a lot of light but you know it's not compared as this window. <laughs> so this might be the Hoya window in the future when I get more Hoyas, this will be a perfect spot. I, um, this glass table also gets a lot of light and now it feels a little bit colder. Maybe it's just me, I don't know what it is, but uh, it could be the sweat, I don't know, but it, it is blocking a lot of the light that it was being hit by the windows. And I'm also gonna place more plants, which they're outside of right now, which I will show you. I'm gonna place them on this glass table Nothing yet in the white part, but I might play some stuff. I don't know yet. I'm gonna leave it clean as it is. It looks really, really nice. Um, but I do have two kittens, um, Tajin, Mole, and Valentino. One of those very, very chill cat, but the two kittens are reckless and I can see them already knocking those things down unless we train them not to. We're gonna figure it out down the line, but as of now, it's gonna stay empty, which is a bummer because I would love to see a lot of plants in there, but it's fine. Um, okay, let me go show you the plants from outside. Alrighty, here it is. These are the plants that I selected. I will, I ended up rinsing them really, really good from the bottom to the top. I'm also going to be spraying some neem oil, which thank God we're outside now, um, because like, you know, this is not gonna smell that bad and it's gonna be such an easy application. Um, this is the Monstera Peru. It really, really does need to be cleaned though. And then this other beautiful Hoya, a lemonade philodendron, variegated pepperonia, another Hoya that I have. And then I put those in joy and this beautiful Hoya. I keep forgetting what it's called, but it's stunning. Just put up these new leaves and it's putting out even more leaves, which is super duper fun. But 
Yeah, this is what's gonna go inside. I'm just letting them, I think they're ready to go inside already, but yeah. The all that's missing is the two white tables next to this glass table to give it a nice height and to fill in this gap over here and over there as well. But I ended up bringing another uh, lemon lime philodendron, super duper cute, rinse these off. Another pot those, well I already showed you guys, but here they are. I did bought the snake plant, this one I think it's called um, dragon flame, something like that. There it is, it's gorgianus. And then this... I think it's it's a syngonium. I don't know, just some some of the different kinds of syngoniums. But I see. So I ended up placing oh, and this other green heart leaflet dungeon as well. But and everything else I already showed you. But I have this one over here. This potos enjoy the for the dendron. Every time I'm with the plants, I also like I love how like there's height as well. I always consider the light. So plants that need more light or appreciate light. This one whenever it gets light, it looks so gorgeous. Mustard Pedro would appreciate the light as well. This Hoya, this other Hoya. This Hoya gets a lot of light in this little section. So I think they will enjoy it. And over here is a little bit more shaded. So I ended up adding shade loving plants. I mean, this is a little, there's still sunlight hitting it, but it's not like, you know, like a Hoya. I, I like to place plants where I know they're gonna thrive, um, which is why the park plants was kind of difficult because I was getting no lights. I had to use a lot of grow lights and it was getting really, really expensive on the light bill. So the fact that I'm getting natural free lights, that's honestly gorgeous on the plants. It's just so relaxing therapeutic. Like I would actually enjoy to water my plants, drink my iced coffee while looking at the sun rays hitting the foliage. It's just so relaxing, so therapeutic. I love it. I'm literally in love and I'm back. I don't know, I, I really do miss this home. It has a lot of cons, y'all. Like, you guys don't understand. There's like literally spiders between the cracks and everything, but like be behind the walls. But oh, the light it brings in this house is just, it's worth it. It's like literally those mean jokes, like um, husband lover. Like husband lover is like, they see like a house for like a decent price or whatever, but it's like haunted and like really, really bad. But it says that it has amazing sauce and west facing windows and people are like, oh, let's move in, it's perfect. I don't know if I said the joke correctly, but like that's literally over here. Like the house is literally crap. But the light that it gets, I can, as long as my plants are happy, girl, and they're getting all that light, I will be the happiest being you will ever now the greenhouse is going to be moved to the back um once the sun comes down the bird of paradise will look amazing honestly what i noticed is well first let me finish so what i, what I was gonna say this is what i have hanging already a golden potos global green green heart leaf of the dendron a brazil try to scan ti another golden potos another lemon eye philodendron almost tripped <laughs> and then another golden potos and I am probably getting more golden potos because they're just my favorite. And they're amazing. I love them so much. Uh, we have this beautiful um, baby bunny bellies. And then a Hoya. A lot of lights coming in. And the rest of the plants. So like I said, I will be placing a table over here. And another table over here. Right over here. 
And then I'm gonna bring some shelves tonight. I'm gonna bring two of them. I'm gonna scoot this one over. I'm gonna place the shelf over here. This is gonna be like going to the side. Place another shelf right there. And then the Soltec lights next to the TV. Um, like over here, over here, and then white tables on the side and plants. And I would love to put some mirrors on top of the white tables to like bring more light inside and just make it look more bigger. And then over here, I'm gonna place my neon potos, the big one that I had, and the apartments right over here and then like scatter, like I had it like above the sofa. And then a, a white shelf over here and then maybe my fiddle, if not the lamp. But that's the goal right now, what I'm planning on doing. But I'm honestly in love and I will, be, like I said, I will be buying some better ones. Um, I'll have it like this in the morning and then in the night I'll close it for some privacy as well as this side literally in love and a lot of these plants were in the patio but i'm gonna be buying some outdoor shade plants um like coolias or caladiums and have them outside and make a beautiful display and just make it look nice in the patio with some outdoor shade plants and a few house plants as well but i'm in love with how it turns out and honestly and honestly sorry the phone turns off but but this is how it looks i just closed the blinds it looks a little bit weird do you see that? It looks like somebody's behind the curtains. But um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me on today's new video. Some positive advice to each and every one of you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. I will be posting part two, setting up the tables, the deluxe like, square tables next to this glass one and the TV, and setting up like two relics that I have. But yeah, okay, bye.